Nathan, I'm from San Jose Science 3. So today we're going to talk about romanticism and cocktail music. Do you ever wonder what is the history of the music we know and love today? And we are going to discuss just that. I know, it's boring, right? But I assure you it's going to be interesting. Romanticism or romantic era is a period of classical music that originated in 18th century Europe. Musical romanticism is marked by an emphasis on individuality and self-expression. A lot of repertoire in the romantic era are romantic and expressive. Composers write their music according to the state of emotion, and it's a means of expressing their feelings. Dramatic expressiveness is more possible because composers have a lot of career freedom, so they make more musical forms to make more expressive music. The first thing we are going to talk about is the characteristics of the romantic era. But before that, we have to mention the composer Beethoven, because he has a very important role in starting romanticism. He sort of paved the way for composers that came after him. That is why he is considered to be the first romantic era composer. The first characteristics of the romantic era composers like the alter, modify, and break musical forms that were common in the classical era. This allows for more freedom and of creativity and expression. The second one is that there are a lot of more rich voices in the romantic era. Third one is that pieces in the romantic era are very emotional, because the pieces are a representation of the composer's own emotion. The fourth one is that composers like to explore nature using musical techniques to imitate the sound of storms or evoke the atmosphere of a forest. The fifth one is that the, is that the composers like to incorporate folk music or stories as a means to proclaim or reclaim national pride. So, let's discuss a few characteristics so that we can get a deeper understanding about them. In the Romantic era, composers who are also virtuosos are very prominent. They use their virtuosic skill and incorporate that into the music. They are their branding, a way to develop their music to be more recognizable for audiences. One of the most exemplary composers and virtuosos is Paganini. He is considered to be the first superstar in the classical music world. He composed extremely difficult pieces on the violin, and he is so skilled in fact that people are naming him the devil's violinist, just because he is so good. On the piano, we have Liszt. He is often compared to Paganini. Liszt actually decided to be a virtuoso because of Paganini. The next one is that composers like to create music with a certain nationalistic identity. They use folk songs, the dances, the legends, and the history of their homeland. The perfect example of this characteristic is some of Chopin's composition. One example of it is his Polonized Opus 40. The piece later became the pride of the Polish people. Next, we are going to explore some pieces that best represent the Romantic era. The first one is Beethoven's Symphony No. 9. This piece tells the story of Beethoven's experience with deafness. And the second one is Liszt Liebestraum No. 3, or in English it means love dream. This piece is based on a poem, and the meaning behind this piece is a depiction of unconditional love. The last piece is Rachmaninoff's Piano Concern No. 2. He dedicated this piece to his neurologist because he helped Rachmaninoff heal from his depression and regain his confidence in composing. Next, we are going to discuss the difference between the Romantic era and other eras in classical music. The first one is our composers like to break rules, but also they like to develop new technique. The second one is that composers use more excited melodies with broader ranges of tone, pitch, tempo, and more sophisticated harmonies. The third one is changes in instruments. The fourth one is changes in orchestra. For example, in the classical era, they use 30 musicians. In the romantic era, they use 100. The fifth one is using more non-traditional instruments. For example, Tchaikovsky used cannons for his 1812 overture. So let's play a game, shall we? Just click on this link right here. There are three questions total, and you have five seconds to, and ten seconds to answer. Start. Three, two, one. First question: When did the Romantic era start? The answer is end of eighteenth century. Second one is which composer paves the way for other romantic era composers? The answer is Beethoven. Uh, the this one is the use of ornaments, and that's it. So uh, here are all my references, and thank you. That's it. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, see you next time.